welcome to my studio. My name is Joanna Couch. I am the Soap Gal. First of all, I have to say thank you, all my new subscribers. I appreciate you so much. Um, November is the month of gratitude, and I have so much gratitude for all of my subscribers. And um, I wanted to let you know I am going to be doing a giveaway really, really soon. And the Soap Gal makes a lot of stuff, so it's going to be a good gift. Um, so I want you to know I'm going to be doing the giveaway, but for this video, we're going to talk about the mini bomb. You, what is a mini bomb? Well, I'm glad you asked. So let me tell you what a mini bomb. This is what we've been working on. So these are so-called petty bombs, a small bath bomb. It is a two ounce bath bomb is what it is. And the soap gel, I personally think it's the perfect bath bomb. When I sell bath bombs bombs all the time, I hear parents saying, "Oh, they like these bath bombs because they're l less expensive than the most than normal bath bombs, um, and it's just perfect amount of fragrance for their kids." Because so many kids does not want to take a bath without a bath bomb. Yay us! You know the makers who make them. But and so in this video, we're gonna talk about the mini bomb. Let's get right to it. The equipment that we're going to be using to make the Petty Bomb or the Kid Bomb, we are going to be using SoapEquipment.com Multi Ball Bath Bomb Press. This holds 32 bath bombs, so you're able to press 32 bath bombs at one time. Yes, 32 bath bombs at one time. Amazing. And so that's the tools what we're going to do, But and we're going to actually put um, the fragrance that we're going to be using today. Joanna, settle down. Okay, <laughs> I just get so excited to share this stuff with you. Um, is we, um, we made this beautiful salt to put on the top of our Snow Witch bath bombs. And the fragrance that I'm using is Snow Witch and it is from Muddy Soap Company, um, the makers of Electra Press. They um, also sell fragrances and micas and colorants and Jamie is amazing. So that's the fragrance we're gonna be using, but I wanna give you a little hint of what I do. So, so many times we get these micas and we have leftover mica inside or on the edges and what can we do with that? I don't like wasting anything. So let me show you what I do is I spread some alcohol in it, okay? And after I spread some alcohol, I take a little bit of salt. I put, put some salt in here. And then we shake it all about, okay? And we color our salts with the edges, or I do, with the edges of what's inside my little bits of mica. So then I take that out and see, all nice and pretty. And I'm gonna mix that in with this. And see, now all the edges of my mica is gone. And I have not wasted any. All, so we're gonna take these salts and we're gonna put a little bit at the bottom of each one of these molds. Oh, so our colored salt, a little bit's gonna be at the bottom of each one of these molds because this is Snow Witch and these are holiday bath bombs. So after we do this, when you have 32, it takes a little while. Okay, so make that nice and smooth. Okay, so now that that's done, the next thing is we're gonna do our recipe. And I'm gonna share a recipe with you today because this is my personal recipe for my personal brand. Um, so let me talk about the recipe with you. Whenever I make a bath bomb, I, am, I love my goat's milk. So my very first ingredient that I add in my bath, bath bomb is some goat's milk. And I'm going to add 15 grams of goat's milk, okay? Um, after I have my 15 grams of goat's milk, I'm going to add 20 grams of SLSA. That is a bubbling agent. Then I'm gonna add kaolin clay. The reason why I add kaolin clay in my recipe is I want my bombs to be nice and hard. 
and I'm going to use 60 grams of kaolin clay. I don't want to overdo. Okay, 60 grams. And then sea salt. Sea salt is another thing that you use to make your bombs nice and hard. And we're using 119 grams. And this will be underneath in the bottom for a recipe. So 119, almost there. Okay, now for my baking soda, I'm gonna use 1,777 grams. 777. So 1,777. A little bit more. I'm sorry, a little bit more. <laughs> oh, okay, now that we have 1,777 grams, we're gonna put this aside. Now we're gonna do our citric, and for our citric, we need 950 grams. Now we're going to do our wet ingredients. And for our wet ingredients, we don't need any poly 80, but I'm going to go ahead and use it as an emulsifier. And that is going to be 20 grams. Okay. And then for, I, I don't use no alcohol. I use witch hazel and I'm going to have 18 grams of witch hazel. And then it goes the Snow Witch. Mm. <laughs> Divine. <laughs> so and we're going to use 40 grams of Snow Witch. And then it is a light oil of your choice. So you could use safflower oil, um, avocado, a whole bunch. There's just a, a, a liquid oil. And we're going to be using... Uh, avocado oil and we're gonna have 150 grams now that our recipe is all together let's mix this up now that we have all of our ingredients all put together let's mix this up so we have our hair net and we have our face mask don't I look beautiful <laughs> okay so we are going to put in our baking soda mix. And we're going to put in all of our liquid. So there's all of our liquid in our baking soda and we are going to turn this on or blow it up. And let's mix it! Let's turn this baby up. There we go. That's what you call a mixer. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Thank you, Judy. It smells great. That's all mixed up. Let's add the citric acid. Okay, now let's turn this on. Woo, let's dance. <laughs> Now that that's all mixed, let's make some bombs. So let's turn this here, drop that. And let's dump. And we're 
would say scrapey scrapey thank you katie for always putting that in every one of our heads all right now let's move this to the side okay let's take off this face mask and let's combine all of our ingredients to make sure it's nice and incorporated so now that our bath bomb mix is beautiful and it clumps. See, that's the test you want. So you know it's gonna make a bomb. Isn't that beautiful? So now that we have that, let's bring our mold. And we're gonna fill it up. So we're gonna fill up the mold and we're gonna fill them all in. And then this is when the magic happens. So let's put them all in place. Let's knock, make sure that, see how it drops? And then we're gonna put a little bit more in and then we're going to cap. So now that we have them all flush, almost, takes a little bit of time, but it don't has, does not have, well, I guess it has to cure, but not as long as soap. <laughs> all right, so now we are gonna take our caps and we're gonna just sit them in place. So let's do that. What scents are you making for this Christmas season? So this is Snow Witch, and then I'm also going to be making Cranberry Fig. I love the smell of pumpkin spice. You can never go wrong with anything that smells like pine or woods or any of those type of scents. But please, leave a comment and let me know what um, holiday fragrances you enjoy most. I know if you're doing larger amounts of um, making like I do, I purchase my fragrance oils. This is a good little hint for you guys. I buy my fragrance oils from AFI. Um, I also, that's AFI-USA.com. I also purchase fragrance oils um, from Muddy Soap, so Jamie. Um, I also do Rustic Essentials, Crafter's Choice, and then my essential oils always comes from Sid from eatoils.com and he always laughs at me because I can never pronounce his business but I'm gonna do my very best. I think it's called La Mosque and he's gonna, he's gonna tell me I totally did that wrong and I know I did so I'm so sorry Sid but I always say eatoils.com where you can meet your wonderful essential oil guru Sid. Okay, and I have two more. And if any of you guys have a place that you prefer, I know there's Brambleberry. I personally don't buy much from Brambleberry because of shipping, but um, that's my that's where I get my stuff. So now that we have our caps on and I talked and talked and talked, let's let's press these babies. Now that we have all of our tops in place, we are gonna go and press it, and we're gonna be using the same press that we use to cut our soap. We're gonna put this in. Robbie's gonna tell me to put in my pins. That's about as far as it goes. And then I press. So you'd use this nozzle and you push it down. And then we pull it back up. And let's just repay. So here the air compressor in the background. That's the reason why if you're not going to use a multi-press, get the Electra press because it is absolutely quiet. You can just plug that in. You don't need it to buy an air compressor. So there's a little thing if you want to press, but you don't want a major press and have to hear that sound, um, you're going to want the Electra press. So let's just do that again. 
So now that that's done, we're probably going to be cutting this because I don't want you to hear that in the background on the next part of the video. Oh, quiet. Okay, so now we're going to take our press bombs and we're going to put them in the, I don't know, popper plate. And we're going to try to, we're going to dance until we find the little holes. And then we're going to look down and woohoo, get guided. Okay, so now we're going to put all of our weight in and pop them up. Boom, okay. So the next thing is the magic. And we're going to come off the edge, get rid of that ring. And then, are you ready? Are you ready? Voila! And then, knock, knock, knock. Who's there? A beautiful bath bomb. And then we are going to keep doing that over and over again. So we're going to go into fast mode. Thirty-one perfect bath bombs. Look at these. Aren't they pretty? And they smell divine. Snow Witch from Muddy Soap or the Electro Press. And the reason why I wanted to talk a little bit about the Electro Press is I know that so many soap makers uh, follow me and I appreciate that so much. But I also know lots of you, we all start out at our home and the Electro Press is the perfect bath bomb machine because you're able to just plug it in, it is quiet, so when you have your children sleeping, you could still be making bath bombs at 11 o'clock at night. You know, when we can make bath bombs. I wouldn't know, I don't have kids. But, <laughs> that, but that's what I am told. So the Electra Press, if you're looking for a bath bomb press, it's a great gift. Um, so now we're going to let these babies dry and I'm going to show you how we wrap them. To wrap these bath bombs, we are going to be using these 4x6 shrink bags that I have purchased from Amazon. Okay, and we're going to take one of these bags and we're going to put our bath bomb in the bag. I know I'm doing it nice and gentle. I don't want to lose any of our pretties. Okay, now that it's in the bag, we're going to take it to our impulse by um, impulser, which we also purchased off, purchased off of Amazon, and we are going to do that. Okay, then we are going to take our heat gun, which you can get from any hardware store at, in the painter's aisle, and it's going to be a little loud here. And we're just going to sweep. And it is finished. So we're going to just continue doing this over and over again until our bombs are done. And now this is your finished bath bomb. Snow Witch with blue salts. So pretty. An easy sell at Christmas. I am the Soap Gal and looking forward to having you come back to my studio.